So how do you maintain the agility and the energy that comes with those smaller companies when they're acquired into a large organization? Well, you have to remember that all large companies were once small companies. General Motors was once uh, a bunch of people working in uh, a little workshop somewhere. So even though something's small, it doesn't mean that it's not significant in an in a organizational way. And what you have to do, and this is one of the real challenges for corporations, is um, not kill off the, the, the fledglings, uh, the emerging ideas. And the problem is, in corporations today, we make all, almost all judgments uh, based on finance. So if it's not making any money today, and it can't make, uh, when it's on a product launch, it can't make a half a billion dollars, then it's really not worthwhile us paying attention to. But, uh, but that's really a completely false assumption in my view. Uh, so you have to create an environment, an incubator if you like, where these things can be nurtured, can be protected. Uh, often they need to be led by, by somebody who uh, feels um, uh, affection, shall we say, toward these, uh, and commitment toward these, these groups. So that's one way, uh, is to set up incubators. And uh, for the CEO, by the way, to protect them. Another, another idea that I've used, which is becoming more popular today, is uh, to set aside a certain amount of money to invest in um, emerging ideas in, in uh, what's called corporate venturing. These are a few of the mechanisms that, that you can use to, to protect these organizations. But I think this idea of, remember, they're all large companies, but one small companies. And these small companies today are potentially large elements of your company in the future. You must find a way to protect them and encourage them.